did you come over here with no socks on? No, or I no shoes, shoes on? Because it's wet. Oh. I don't know. I guess because I have too much pride to do it. I could never imagine, like, even. You don't fucking... remember what you were like when you were like four. Is this camera out or no? Yeah. Oh. Well, Brandy, we go to Marshall's two days ago, and she gets these Anikis that are. I saw them. She returns. She's like, I don't know. I'm not that into them. I just really wanted Anikis. But now. Can't Anik... you flex them for the gram? That's what can't I. Can't do that, thought. Brandy. That's... Brandy, you can't flex for Marshall's. You can't flex Marshall's <laughs> shoes for the gram. I don't even want to put her out there Wait, like that. But so. I, I, <laughs> That she returns them. So I transfer her $30 and I go, yo, just keep them like it's an extra pair. She's the other pair at Marshall's for 60 camo NMD looking. Look. She's like, these are hot. I'm like, so go back and get them. These shoes are on me. Just go buy these. We get all the way to Marshall. She goes, I'm still going to return these shoes. I just don't like them. And then I'm going to cop these. I go, well, then you just stole $30 from me. <laughs> no, well, you're throwing down on the That's other amazing. Shoes. Wait, it gets better. <laughs> oh, I thought that was it. So then she returns the shoes and decides not to get, get anything. anything. Keeps the money. Does it her defense. She goes online because then she's like, well, Adidas is 33% mm. off. It's partially my fault because I got her high and brought her to Marshall's. Mm. Like she never. That's what I love doing is getting high and going to Marshall's. No, Nothing more fun. Either. Nothing more fun than that. All right. All the shoes that sold are over here. It really won't be that bad. Once I'm gonna start myself, but once Brandy gets here, she's gonna, <laughs> she's make gonna the box, actually label do it. it and we're just gonna get all of them out of here. Word, I appreciate it. So, so Teddy got me a pair, but they've been sitting in town for three days and not getting delivered. We're not sure why. What's wrong with your package? It's not my package. It's Ern's package. <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with Ern's package. It says, per shipper instructions, package will not be delivered until the scheduled delivery date. <laughs> and it's just like... Some sort of, you get a friends and family Adidas discount look, and they make you wait. It got here, it says package not due for delivery. Next time Burgos orders something, we're gonna send it to FedEx and we're gonna make it like, he'll yeah. show up in this town, but he'll have to wait three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> you need to go on. You are not... Being nice to them. One pair of shit. Bear brick in the wild. Oh. Also, we're going to join. Oh, here. shit. Trying up right now. Good news, I tried the other night. It was a complete failure. I'm done. You're not going to try anymore? No. I just haven't had the time. Just got stuck in the it should be easier for you because you could do it with a small amount of weed. Good think. Did I tell you that I accidentally bought glow in the dark Yeezys on StockX the other day? No. Remember when we were at Purple Haze and I have the footage still on? I was like, I'm just fucking playing around with this dude and up upping it by a dollar, blah, blah, blah. Dollar watch. And I like, did another dollar and they fucking took the bid for 443 or something. I was like, motherfucker. That's amazing. They come out like this weekend. Yeah, I took the early out. I paid retail before I needed to for no reason. <sighs> I feel like he's waking up a Frankenstein. The Godzilla Brothers. Squad. Whole squad, right? Damn. Alright, back to shipping for me. Right, back to shipping. I gotta get this shit done to you. Omar, skedaddle. All right, they're shipping. I'm spending my morning doing coloring, getting the garments for the next friends and family drop. We're starting to ship Meta God for friends and family this week, finally. Well, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, it's just been like ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. Ern's leaving. I'm leaving in a few days. I have this whole list I have to knock out this morning. So quite a few, quite a few things. So busy, busy, just busy morning. It's crack a lack and it is I have a, I have colors for you for the next drop. It really hurting my brain right now. I can like feel my brain hurting from thinking about it. Uh, oh my god, no. Scrub, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Scrub's got the colors. Oh, this, this sucks. <laughs> doing good though. What? You're doing great. Yeah, we're almost there. Is now the time to tell you that I want to sell the rest? Yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, Brandy. Brandy's mad because she just wants sat. You know what when I get home. But oh, she before you leave. got house cleaning to do. Cleaning pipes, not cleaning house. Laying house, not cleaning it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Then, well, if I want that, then you're not going to have time to clean your room. And now I'm going to have to clean it. Well, sometimes you got to work for this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> feel you, dog. Come on, Brand. <laughs> you're talking about your Fortnite cam girl room? Yeah. <laughs> it's dirty? 
Oh yeah. Is it like he used to eat snacks in there and plays yeah. games? No, it's not even that. It's just snacks? weeds. No, there's shit all over the place. There's shit in there too. Yeah. yeah. We're almost there. Uh, so the shoe. If you get the wrong box, <laughs> you know, you're supposed to wear your shoes. You get the wrong shoe. Send them back. These stamp. This is the craziest. He's gonna wear them now, cause now. Wait, we thing. definitely didn't sell those. No, I told you to pull them. Oh, you did. Okay. Because my biggest deal <laughs> in sneakers by far. Where's the mud? I paid nine hundred dollars for these samples. At one point yesterday, they were up for eighty bucks, and nobody bought. So I'm just gonna wear them with really thin I'm socks. Taking black for us. Destroy them. Box. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We've discovered some boxes from previous sales is that we thought we didn't have. The OG camel glitch, right? That is the OG camo glitch. Yeah. The big question is, do I hate these shoes? <laughs> no. I just don't need all this stuff, man. It's Real too much. Black. Even out of all the shoes that I'm keeping, whole entire stack and everything you see there, everything oh, in the mail, them. there's still like over a hundred pairs of shoes. Dad, I got the first cleaning pair. Oh, we got a cleaner. Did you see my fucking signature? No, did you fuck up? Oh my God. God. And then you wrote I that wrote you I... fucked it up on it? Why don't you just use alcohol, you I tried. fucking weirdo? I tried. I figured, dog, if he doesn't want that, he can just money bag on I it. will. He wanted two signatures. I figured he that's... didn't want two from you. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I uh, figured. Charge bag season is coming in. What is wrong with you? Well, well, God damn it. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I just, like, I don't even understand. You understand. should try and wipe it off. I did. This is, it just smeared it more. What did you wipe it off with? Hot water. You're an idiot. Give me this. I asked you if you used alcohol and you said yes. Oh, I thought I heard you say wipe it off. You're I didn't hear it off. Well, we could ask him. I could just send him a pic. I mean, I'm pretty sure that if you pay so much money for something, I don't want it to look like a fucking well, here's, wall what if, fucking truck stop. What if we hit it with alcohol and it fucks it up more? It's not going to. All right. There's nothing in this world that could fuck it up more than you. <laughs> but should we do it outside? You bring it outside? I don't know. I don't know if you're pouring out. God damn it. Get out of my way. Uh, what did you even bring the camera out here for? I'll tell you. Kodak Black's going to prison. No. Yay. Brand, why would you say that? Guns, fingerprints, and rental car linked to Kodak Black. Feds have been watching, according to the informer rapper Kodak Black, linked to March shooting targeting an alleged rival rapper. Prosecutors say Kodak bought three weapons and over 100 rounds of ammo in February. Problem is, one of those weapons reportedly had fingerprints on it at the scene of a non-fatal shooting in Golden Acres, Florida, Pompano Beach. Reportedly using forged documents from January to purchase the firearms, Kodak bought a mini Draco, a SIG MPX. The MPX is found at the shooting. So he basically went and shot somebody and left the gun at the scene of the crime that was registered to him. Interesting. What, uh, who's the rival rapper, I wonder, that he got all these guns uh, he for? He also... A Porsche Panamera Kodak rented was found abandoned away from the scene by police officers. Man. So he rented a car. Under his under name. Under his name. And abandoned it after running away. I th he had half of it right. You gotta get the rental car and abandon it, but you can't have it under your name. I think that's where he really fucked up. Oh, no. Oh no, what? It's Your right. signature's gone too. Yeah, I can yeah. re-sign it. Who got, got the boost sign? King Rat. Oh nice. He would have fucking he's gonna love this in the vlog. God, what is wrong with you? <laughs> King Rat's my homie. I really like I texted you the other day, I am amazed. Amazed that you have survived this long. <laughs> like how you haven't been beaten to death. <laughs> Or accidentally falling off of a bridge. That looks great, dude. Yo, King Rat, we got real signatures coming for you, dog. I'm gonna sign it real nice this time. Cursive. I, I don't no, even no, sign it. Please don't. Lord no. knows you have written in cursive your entire life. I got some warm water. Wiped it. It's smeared. Water. It's water and paint. Isn't there water-based paints? Yeah, there are. But they're not fucking <laughs> acrylic <laughs> markers. I don't fucking know. I want to hate you with this. I've so only bad. painted with watercolors, yeah, you know? I'm so sure in your finger, finger, finger paint. paint. Motherfucker. You and Kodak. Oh man. I'm gonna send him finger painted pictures. This is it. Next time you see me, it'll be in an airport. Vlogging. <laughs> so we we'll seeing you from this this up uh, like, hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Here I am in the air. But actually, because when you're in a public place, you don't like this. You got here we are in the airport. It's steak. <laughs> I have the same ritual every time I fly. Steak, I'm gonna switch it up tomorrow. Steak, red wines in it. Steak, red wines in it. <laughs> Those are dope with the gold. Those are my favorite pair that I've seen so far, actually. Very patriotic, dude. I want to give away the other pair they let me keep, so I want to find somebody who's a size 13 that would never buy a new pair of shoes. Like someone who's got like four kids, works like two jobs, you know, like a type of dude who's just like, dude, I ain't buying $180 for shoes and their fucking ass falls out of their pants, you know, like yeah. someone who's just like, so would be so shocked. 
because I just want to bless them with the other pair because I'm not going to wear them, the green pair. So other than... You're out there. Oh wait, this isn't those. These are the other ones. The American pair is supposed to get here. Oh. So these are the pair. Sorry for the... The American pair will be here today. Ooh. You know I like that. Yeah. That solar orange. I'll tell you, this is a weird room with the lighting though it's now. Not, no, I can still see it. It's fine. You can see it, but it's got more of a blue tint than really exists from the blue lights. Now it's purple. But we're... Oh, that's good. Now we're good. Someone on the said this reminded of denim on the back. Nice. Well, your first pair of 19s. I wish that this, that oh, and the one. soul's different. It's not the trail, but the other trail. Trail, trail. But not trail, trail, but the trail. First trail. I think I know not what you're talking about. Yeah, do some on feet. Unreleased. Still not on this cage, dog. All right. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, dog. See you tonight. We're in yeah. Atlanta. All right, I gotta dog. book my Airbnbs right now. Okay. All right. I'll hit you up. Peace. Yeah, I think Chicago, the show's on an island or something cool. Something cool. I don't know. He made it sound cool. It sounds like the fire festival to me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll see you later. Peace. Thanks for shipping those. Bye. Yeah, dog. Thanks, Brad. Oh, why are you not focusing? Three forty-nine. That day is damn near half gone. This, this other box of shoes, the other Ultra Boost, are here. I haven't opened them yet. I'm starving. We got a Godzilla squad. God squad. God squadzilla. Squadzilla, son. Speaking of a bunch of squadzillas. These dudes. Alex went out with her friend, shipping, planning. I've only booked one Airbnb so far. Taos. And then just answering tattoo emails, basically. Getting ready for the next lookbook. Just, it's really just like busy work today. It's not glamorous today. Really. I love it, you know? I love it though, you know? Ugh, what else? Game of Thrones, I have a theory. It's kind of a spoiler alert, but I think Game of Thrones is essentially a uh, analogy about Donald Trump. Brand is Donald Trump in this scenario. Make your own, you know. What am I thinking of saying? What am I trying to say here? Come to your own conclusion. I did think it ended fine. I liked the way the story ended, but season eight was very weak. End of spoilering. I wasn't even very spoilerish. What else we got going on? That's it. Shoes are shipped. Medicos are starting to ship. Urn's leaving. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm gonna go grab something to eat real quick because I'm starving. Unbox these shoes. Finish scheduling and then re-answer more tattoo emails. If you want to get tattooed, I'm booking up pretty damn quick. But Atlanta at Live Free Tattoo, I'll be there May 31st, June 1st. Philadelphia, Magic Eye Tattoo, I'll be there June 6th and 7th. Pittsburgh is tentative. If you want to get tattooed, email me. I'll figure it out maybe. I'm really only there for one day though. So Chicago, right now I'm tattooing the 13th to the 15th. And um, yeah, I'm in those places a lot longer. So I'll be around eating. Telling jokes, smoking weed, doing what I do. If you want to get tattooed in any of those places, hit me up soon. Teddy tattoo me at gmail.com. I was trying to come up with a shirt for each location, but dog, I'm gonna give myself a fucking stroke doing all this shit. Like, I don't think I can do it. So I think what I'm gonna do is just design a tour shirt. I was gonna try and do like an Atlanta, Philly, Chicago shirt, but dog is too quick. I haven't even like gotten to finish working on the Mecha God, the final Mecha God, which I have got to get going. Well, I've got it started, but I gotta get more progress on. So I got a lot of shit going on. I just keep adding to it. Anyway, I'm gonna get something to eat real quick. Ugh. All right, I didn't go yet to get any to eat. I just decided that we should just open these shoes real quick. I think they dropped today. The knife is in the other room because I went and opened the other box. I ain't got the time. Ah! So two pairs of Ultra Boost 2019s in the same day. I still haven't put a single one on the feet yet. Oh, because it's consortium. I forgot. Hey, oh my. What's up? Do you hear boxes? Your boxes. You here to check out the consortiums? You here to check them out? They're crazy. All right, so three colorways. I don't know what I'm gonna do at first. Maybe I'll get all three colors, but now with all that's going on this week with all the shoes, like I don't think I need to go crazy. Like, this colorway I like. I like some of the other colorways too. I don't know how to open the box apparently. So, this color is a lot nicer than the other colors. And the whole punch really just makes such a difference. Why? It's such a nicer looking shoe. Like, even compared to the other one I got today, I think that this is nicer. It's like the whole punch, red and gold up in there. It's nice. We're finally, after having three pairs of 2019 sent to the house, we're finally, <laughs> like now, for how long? We're finally going to put a pair on. Everyone, I'm wearing 2.0s right now. I've been wearing these asterisks since they came out. So, I'm going to get down to it. Everybody's always saying, Teddy, my guy. They're the most comfortable. Bro, I believe you. I don't deny the fact. I don't think for a second 
the Adidas didn't improve the functionality and the comfort. My beef has been with the way they made them look. It's like, don't make me something that functions a million times better or however many times better and then make me take an L, like a self-served L, by wearing a booty-ass colorway. You know, like, this is a nice colorway. I feel like I can wear this. I still am very upset about this cage. The cage is so fucking big, bro. It's so big. And I get it, it's to lock this all down. That's your whole lockdown. I understand. But that doesn't mean that I like it the way it looks. And I always want to uncage them, but every time I uncage a shoe, I end up disliking it because for some reason modified shoes drive me crazy. I don't know why. Like, well, to a certain degree. I don't know, bro. I don't make any sense. I just know how I feel. All right, here we go. Oh, that one is nice for sure. Let's give it the respect. Let's go with two shoes, you know? With the two shoe world. Pop this tag. Pop. Ah, oh, god damn, everything hurts in my hands because it's cold. Cozy though, that upper is nice. A whole different vibe. I don't even feel like an ultra boost. Anyone who told you to size down in this shoe is fucking tripping balls. And the cage is mad flimsy, which is nice. Way more, got way more movement. Definitely probably move, definitely probably. It absolutely looks like it moves with your foot better. I still don't like it. <sighs> nice to put on, that little heel pull. Wow, that's nice, dog. This is nice. I like those things. I just don't like all those colors. These aren't so easy to like hype lace, that's for sure. Nice. Yeah, I like them. You can really get a better lockdown though, like you can see how this lacing system just locks your foot down. So from a functional standpoint, I get it. I just still fucking hate the angle. And I'll bet if you pulled it, if you cut that angle off and you try to pull the lace without that angle cut, I bet it's weird. I bet it doesn't work the same. I'll bet you they tried it. I hope they tried it anyway. All right, let's go take some steps. These are nice. Oh, you know, we got that ultra boost squeak. Nice, pretty comfortable. I mean, they're definitely comfortable. They still have more of like a pure boost vibe though to them, the way that they feel. Or maybe it's the shape of the boost that are around you. See how the boost like teardrops out? I don't need it. I don't need it. I like it. Consortium, you help out a lot. I don't know why, but you do. All right, so there you have it. I put on 2019s. They are very comfortable. I'm gonna wear them for like a day or two and let you know. For real, for real. But uh, yeah. First colorway that I really like. Definitely can't size down in these just to let you know what's not happening. Um, I mean, I guess again, if I pulled the insole out, my toe is like right there. This would be mad tight too. These are also thicker socks. Gotta keep that in mind. Uh, these are nice. So I've been wearing these for a couple of hours. This is obviously not like a full spectrum review. I'm just gonna tell you basically the things that I think I like and some of the things that off jump I'm not like a huge, or not that I'm not a huge fan of, it's just that differences between the other Ultra Boost and yeah, just like a, a quick, like a couple of things. First off, the ankle collar, I really like the front of. It's super stretchy right here in the ankle and this is like thin which is a huge change that I like and I can understand completely. But when you compare it to padding that is in the 2.0, it's hard, it's just not hard to get used. It's different, it's completely different. This is very padded. Maybe a careful what you wish for moment for me because I didn't really realize how much I liked that pad. This is a lot more like an NMD on the top. The heel, which is great for putting the shoe on, I like just fine. But this also, this is very reminiscent, obviously, of like a Yeezy and other Ultra Boost. It's, it's been um, accentuated, obviously. Really, really, really reminds me of the Future Craft in the way that it fits. So it's like a little bit more narrow than what I'm used to. It's narrow and taller, which probably adds for more support and stiffer. There's definitely like a bit more stiffness pause to the heel area. Heel cup, I actually like a lot. Not for any kind of performance issue, but I like that it's cut out like a window style. I really think that's cool. The color hits matching here. Hole punch I like, sole I like, extra boost I like, painted stripes I like, cage not so much. But here's where I'm like a little not so hype, I guess. The toe area of the shoe, I mean, the, is not is not my favorite. In a normal Ultra Boost, it's kind of the same tautness throughout, you know, and the same amount of stretchiness in the knit for the most part. This drastically gets stiffer. Almost like, almost like it's not PK, but it's almost like meshish. And I don't know if it's just because it's built up so much in the knit, because it's almost like it's reinforced extra. Which I'm sure, like, the science of it makes sense, like, running the science and, like, oh, you need more support here. It has to be tighter here, da, da, da. But comfort-wise, just compared to just, like, fat boy style lounging, not running down the street, just running, running around the world. It's not my favorite. Like, it's not, it's just not as stretchy. The toe area gets, like, stretched out, like, stretchy, stretchy. This is just more coarse, like, some of the releases that I haven't loved. A lot of people are like, why don't you like the SNL Ultra Boost? And that's because those are 
mesh uppers. And it's the same thing they do with the EQT. And they mix these materials up and it doesn't feel like premium. So I don't really know. I don't know the science behind it, you know? Like I'm not educated enough to know, but I imagine this has all been 3D mapped. These areas, points of impact needed more enforcement. These areas needed more flex. Like I get it. I totally understand from a performance. Um, I'm just giving you my personal, like this is what I love and don't love. I like this shoe. Like I do, it's, it's dope. Again, the cage is really bulbous and kind of bothers me. And I can't cut it off because I like the gold strap. The whole punch does wonders for my brain. Dope shoe. I'm glad I got them. I don't know how many 17s I'll get. We'll see. Ah. But not, if you've had the AM4s, it's not as coarse as the AM4. It's like this weird marriage between the AM4 type upper, but being more knit and being more form-fitted, less industrial. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's interesting. It's definitely the most fitted upper. For sure. If this was a stone block, and 1.0 is its stone block, and two, each one is its own stone block, the differences are very subtle between one and two, other than out, you know, the pattern, other small things. I think 2.0 is probably one of the more comfortable. Two, well, you know, whatever. They get more comfortable in each one. This one is just comfortable in a different manner, and it's just a different experience. And the colors not being like knock your dick off makes it harder to love. So I really still gotta wear them. But off top, toe box area just feels like too taut. Taut and tight. That's how I'm feeling right now. That's all I got. I'm gonna get out of here because that is definitely my day. It's getting late as shit. It's like 5.30. All right. Perfect.